Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Another beautiful name of the month of Ramadan. We are living the journey of learning about the month of Ramadan by learning the names or the other names that scholars gave to Ramadan. And all were based upon what Ramadan really mean and bring to us Muslims. So one of the names of Ramadan is the month of obedience. The Shahr al-Ta'a, the month of obedience. And we quoted this hadith because we need to look at the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan in a wider range, in a bigger aspect. So Imam al-Bukhari related this hadith. Our Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said this on the authority of, of Abu Huraira. May Allah be pleased with him. مَنْ لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلِ بِهِ فَلَا حَاجَةَ لِلَّهِ بِأَنْ يَدَعَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ What does that mean? Whomsoever, and I'm translating here literally, whomsoever did not stay away from lying and acting based on lies, Allah does not need his, him or her staying away from food and drink. And Imam Ibn Hajar in his Fatuh al-Bari, the commentary of Imam al-Bukhari, beautifully said that doesn't mean, well, I cannot not lie, then I'm not going to fast. No. Fasting is the obligation. I need to do the fasting because that's one of the pillars of Islam. But how, what kind of fasting I am doing and what am I presenting to Allah? As we spoke about earlier, right? The hospitality of Allah, I'm taking advantage of it, right? And the what kind? So the hospitality of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What kind of things I'm doing to deserve that hospitality? So the month of obedience. I need to stay away from, and we just put this hadith because it's specifically related to fasting. I need to stay away from lying and acting upon these lies or act or do things which is not true, not truthful. And what Allah or Rasul is teaching me here, this month is a month of obedience. It's not only a month of fasting. It's a month of obedience, of doing everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants me to do, one, and stay away as much as I can, as much as we can, from everything Allah told me not to do. And this is one of the examples. Whomsoever did not stay away or avoid uh, lying and acting upon the lies or acting not truthfully, then Allah doesn't need his fasting. It's so interesting, the act of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which we find human beings difficult, every creation of Allah is obedient to Allah, willingly or with difficulty. So interesting. We are not the only creation of Allah that we struggle to obey. And Allah said this in the Quran. Allah said this in Surah Al-Ra'id. وَلِلَّهِ يَسْجُدُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ طَوْعًا وَكَرْهًا بِالْغُدُوِّ وَالْآصَالِ To Allah prostrate. Prostration is an act of obedience. Right? وَلِلَّهِ يَسْجُدُ To Allah prostrate. مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ Whatever is in the heavens. وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Whatever is in, in, uh, uh, on the earth. طوعاً, willingly, وكرهن, كرهن, unwillingly, with difficulty, don't like it, بالغدوب والآصال, in the morning and in the sunset. So obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, شهر الطاعة, it's the month of obedience of Allah. I need to tell myself, I am in a month that Allah expect me to obey him. And Whatever I am doing, act of obedience, even if it is a little bit, the response from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unaccounted for. I am fasting, my dua is absolutely granted. I am fasting, I will be rewarded, I don't know how much. I am staying away from other disobedience of Allah, Allah's rewards multiplied. And a very, very nice commentary when you read about the Allah's obedience, there was a dialogue between 
Sulaiman ibn Abd al-Malik is one of the leaders of the Amawi time. And one of the righteous people, the name is Abu Hazm, and, and he entered on Sulaiman um, ibn Abd al-Malik, and there was a lot of discussions and admonitions. And then at the end, at the end, the leader, or uh, Sulaiman ibn Abd al-Malik, asked the scholar, give me an advice. And this advice applies to us here in Ramadan. He said, Awsani, qala, said, عظم الله, glorify Allah, ونزه, and exalt him. عن أن يراك فيما نهاك, exalt Allah, so he will not see you where he told you not to be. ولا يستفقدك, ولا يفقدك حيث أمرك, and he will not miss you where you should be. Let me say it one more and apply it to Ramadan. Glorify Allah. This is the month of obedience. We need to glorify him. We need not to take it casual. It's not the usual. This is Ramadan. Glorify Allah and exalt him. Exalt him. You look at him and you think of him and you know he's looking at you that he will not find you where he want, doesn't want you to be. So this is the month of Ramadan. I should not be wasting my time. This is the month of Ramadan. I should not be wasting my money. What we said, Allah yakrah lakum. What we said it yesterday, that I will stay away from things Allah doesn't like. Too much talk, wasting my time, wasting my money. So he will not, the more I exalt Allah, he will not find me where he doesn't want me to be. And he will not miss me where he wants me to be. It's time for salah, it's Ramadan. On time, I'm on my Prayer rug. Oh, this is Ramadan. He wants me to be reading Quran. I'm reading Quran. I'm not going to be doing the usual things I do in my other months, let alone the disobedience of Allah. So he said to him, glorify Allah and exalt him that he will see you where he doesn't want you to be and he will not miss you where he wants you to be. Shahru ta'a al ta'a. Ibadatullah, one of the essence of worshiping Allah is to obey him. One of the signs of Allah's love is obeying him. This is the month where I need to show Allah my love, my obedience. And we all read it day one. قَالُوا سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا غُفْرَانَكَ رَبَّنَا The end of Surah Al-Baqarah. They said, قَالُوا سَمِعْنَا We heard, Ya Allah. We heard, stay away from lying. أَطَعْنَا We obey. غُفْرَانَكَ Please forgive us what we did before, even these few days that passed. So let us all from today, if we have done it already, Alhamdulillah, we already have spent the whole few days that passed already with the obedience of Allah, let us be grateful. If and we are human beings, did not give these six days. It's do right. Let us from today look at the month of Ramadan, the month of obedience, the month where Allah look at me and he wants to find me where he wants me to be. And where does Allah want me to be? Wherever, place or time, place that, that pleases him, that he's happy with me. Ya Rabbi, Ameen. Jazakumullahu khayran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us, Ya Allah. Allahumma a'inna ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husna ibadati. Ya Allah, help us ala dhikrika to remember you. Wa shukrika to be grateful to you. Wa husna ibadati. That we worship you in the best way, the most beautiful way that pleases you, Ya Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.